Okay, boys and girls. Shh. I can hear someone calling. Shh. I think it's coming from here. Let me go and see. Oh no! What are you doing here? It's Winnie the Pooh. Why are you so sad, Winnie the Pooh? He says he is very scared because his mom sent him to the shop and the shopkeeper chased him away because he gave them a list and they did not know what he was talking about. Here is the note he wrote. He wrote a list what mom wanted at the shop. He said mom wanted Milo bread fish soap. Today's lesson is about commas, where children write out lists and where they need to know where to place the commas so that their lists make sense. Usually children are speaking in one tone. They do not pause at times. So it's basically commas in making up a list. And inside, who is his favorite friend? Tiger. Tiger, what is his name? Tiger. Tiger, what is his name? Tiger says he went to the shop with Winnie. The most important thing in your classroom is to capture your learners. Once you have captured their interest, then you have won and they, the lesson and they have understood what you are saying. Remember I tell you, you must always stop at a comma. And he said it so fast, the shopkeeper was so, so confused. And then when Tiger came, he said Milo and bread and fish. Firstly, I have introduced puppets. Usually children are not so exposed to puppets and usually they understand talking to a puppet better than listening to the teacher herself. Learners are exposed on the television to Winnie the Pooh. They've all got DSTV now. You know, they're watching Winnie the Pooh. I've got readers in my library corner as well regarding Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. So they can associate with those two characters. So today we are going to teach them how to put our commas. How, what Leah told us, our commas. We're going to show them where to put the commas. Now this is what we do when we put the commas. Let's see who's so brave to read what is written here. Anybody wants to try? Anybody? Yes, Bartley, let's try. We use commas to separate words in a list. But I want you to look at this. Right, there is no, there is no comma before the last word in this list. You see this last word? There is no comma here before this. Before this, we are going to put very good and then it sounds right am i correct yes. right we're going to put and what oh, so and at the end of the sentence what do i put full stop. full stop very good before i could say it someone and there's that someone i know is reading a lot at home and i'm very happy about that there's it we use the word and what do we use the word very good. Let's call the magic sticks. What are we going to say? The magic sticks is basically, you know, in your classroom you have learners that are uh, very uh, intelligent. They are slower learners. Every learner has a different ability. And with the magic stick, it doesn't only count for the learner that knows it all. Now we give the learners the opportunity of saying, wow, it could be me next. It could be me next. Let me start thinking. Right, this row to come and take a plastic, a lucky packet. Yes, the same row that came, come for a lucky packet. You are not supposed to play with it, you're supposed to leave it in the center. And it is not for you, the children that came to fetch the packet. It's for you and your partner. Now, the next row, Michelle, your row that way, Leah, your row, and Fanny, your row, and Milandri, your row. You are going to do the hard work to write the sentence. You both are going to think of a sentence, you're going to decide, is that sentence correct? Now, are you going to play with the things you have inside? Yes. 
No, you are going to work. The lucky packets was just a thought of mine where I thought, let's take the boredom out of the classroom and invite learners to think for themselves, to manipulate these objects by feeling and by looking and, you know, it would assist them in constructing that sentence. I think dramatization becomes a universal language. Right, but let's show them what do you have? Umbrella. Umbrella. Annabelle. Annabelle. And a balloon and a peg. Can you see? What do we use this peg for? Clothes. Yes, to hang our clothes. Right, read your sentence. Right, a little bit louder, Rihanna. I have a umbrella, comma, bell, peg, and a balloon. Very good. She said, Can I read it to you? She said, I have. Umbrella. Now they we can't say a uh, because a uh is a vowel. So we say an umbrella. What do we have? An umbrella, comma, bell, comma, peg, and a uh, balloon. That's very good because she remembered at the end she has to put a. Uh. Can you see? Clap hands for both of them. Well done. Right, the child that brought the child that came to put it in the box, come and put it. Took it, can put it in the box.